sponsor your spouse, common law partner, conjugal partner, or dependent child. As of September 23, 2022, it is now mandatory to apply online. If you cannot apply online and require accommodations, including for a disability, you can ask for the application in another format, which is paper, braille, or large print. Recently, I have a consultation and the sponsor asked me how to become a sponsor. You can become a sponsor if you are at least 18 years old, a Canadian citizen, a person registered in Canada as an Indian under the Canadian Indian Act, or a permanent resident living inside Canada. If you are a Canadian citizen living outside Canada, you must show that you plan to live in Canada when your sponsored relative becomes a permanent resident. You cannot sponsor someone if you are a permanent resident living outside of Canada. Able to prove that you are not receiving social assistance for reasons other than a disability and you must also be able to show that you can provide basic needs for yourself, your spouse or partner, your spouse or partner's dependent child or children, your dependent children if you are sponsoring only your dependent child. Note, in most cases, if you are sponsoring a spouse, partner, or dependent child, there is no minimum necessary income or MNI requirement you need to meet. However, you must meet the minimum income, income requirement if the spouse or partner you are sponsoring has a dependent child who has dependent child on their own or the dependent child you are sponsoring has a dependent child of their own. The income requirement is based on Statistic Canada's annual low income cutoff or LICO. If you must meet the MNI requirement, you must include a financial evaluation IMM 1283 form with your application. Please see the checklist. If you live in Quebec, you don't have to submit this form to IRCC. You can see the subsection 1, 3 of the Immigration and Refugee Protection Regulations or IRPR for more information. If you live in Quebec, you must also meet Quebec's conditions to be a sponsor. Note that you can still sponsor if you are receiving maternity, parental, and sickness benefit paid under the Employment Insurance Act. These benefits also count as income for the purposes of meeting the MNI. You can still, you can still sponsor, okay? You can still sponsor if you are receiving regular employment insurance and federal training allowances. These uh, benefits don't normally count towards income for the purpose of meeting the MNI. Important for the year 2020 and 2021 tax years only, a public policy was established that allows sponsors for all family class applicants whose sponsors must meet income requirements to count regular employment insurance benefits in their income calculations rather than just special employment insurance benefits. That's it everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video to help spread a non-sugar coated practical immigration law advices. This is your licensed immigration practitioner, Norilyn Oligosarma. I hope you have a great night. Bye-bye.